We went to our bodega on Gifford Lane last night to get our shit from Habib. <laughs> that fucking punk Roberto was there. Seen that fuck around here way too often lately. There's no reason for some West Brighton shit to be hanging out in our neighborhood. Yeah, have you talked to that towel head? Yeah, he said uh, uh, Roberto uh, was uh, offering protection. Wanted to, to offer him protection for less than he's given us. Oh, mother fuckers running into our business. I'm telling you, if that Habibi wasn't so loyal, maybe tell him to fuck off and tell me what's doing. I mean, your father's done enough for the fucking guy. I mean, he owes us that much. Uh, but I could give two shits about how loyal Habibi is, all right? What's important here is the fact that this fucking punk Roberto is coming around our neighborhood trying to get involved in shit we've been doing since we're 15 years old. I mean, we gotta do something about it. If we let this shit slide, what's gonna happen? Our whole fucking operation will be done. I mean, next thing you know, every fucking money-hungry Puerto Rican around is going to be trying to muscle in on our action. We got to make an example out of this kid. Teach him a lesson. I say we beat the shit right out of him. Maybe for his girlfriend or something. That's kid stuff, all right? I mean, he thinks he can run our neighborhood? I want him out of the way. You want him dead? I want every two-bit fucking hood out there to know the price you pay for fucking with the little cigars. I'm down. Now, I did a little research on that little fuck. Yeah, me and Mike Esposito were driving up around his place. We saw him come out of the store. So we tracked him back, followed him to his house, found out where he lived. Victory and Jersey Drive. All we gotta do, wait till things are all clear, he takes a drive, we find him. And then, we leave him in the middle of his own hood. There he is, there he is, right there! Let me get that motherfucker. Say goodnight! Well, uh, that shit's not gonna work. We don't even know where Roberto's gonna be, or if the streets are even gonna be clear. I mean, come on, we don't know this neighborhood too well. All right, we would stick out as much as Roberto does. Man, it's too risky doing that shit. Hey, not so fast. Now most of us would stick out, but not all of us. You forgetting about Raul? Kid's half Mexican. He could hang out in Roberto's neighborhood, no one would say jack shit. But the kid's on our side. He's as sick of punks like Roberto as we are. So we get him in some clothes, give him a can with some change in it, send him in. Bam, he's a homeless kid. When he's finished, we pick the kid up on the corner. He don't get caught because he's in a disguise. Besides, no one's gonna see him. Wait, 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 wait. That shit is too complicated, all right? We know where the guy lives. Why don't we just go up to his house? UPS. Delivery. Delivery from what? I gotta fuck with shit. shit. Motherfucker.
Yeah, what if he doesn't fucking open the door himself? Yeah, that shit's too complicated, yeah, stupid ass. For Christ's right, fucking sake, like, put down the gun in the fucking first place, you fuck. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Every last one of you, shut the fuck up right now. I'm not fucking kidding, all right? Like, you never fucking killed nobody before? We're not fucking talking rocket science here or nothing. We've done this shit a million times. Some fucking punk is moving in on our action. We gotta take him out. I don't care how you do it, I want him dead. And